These two very good examples of termite mounds in the Northern Territory. These are the type that eat grasses and they store up grass inside their mounds. They're not the same as the ones that eat tree bark and tree cores out. I'll just go and stand next to them. You can have a look to see how small I am in comparison to them. It gives you some indication of just how tall they get. And they, I've seen them uh, another probably half times as big as these. So one and a half times larger. Pretty massive. <clears throat> Quite hollow inside, lots of cavities for storing stuff inside, and we can have a look at some of that too. Just the sides being broken open, so we'll have a look at um, some of the uh, storage space on the inside and just come around. You can see that they repair the um, they repair the base of these once they've been damaged they basically get to and fix things up and that's what will happen here in time. You can basically see the um, grasses and things just sitting on the uh, edge where they've stuff starting to fall out so yeah quite deep in there I mean that's probably about I don't know my hand is reaching right in there so it's an arm's length inside and no doubt, I mean, that's possibly for cooling, who knows. Um, but that pretty much repeats all the way around. You can see here, got some more grasses and things like that that have grown up inside and uh, not grown up, been stored inside. Grown up. You can just see the difference ways they've put the grass in the cavities and when I tap on this side you'll hear how hollow it is rock hard I would not want to punch that it's this mud is incredibly hard stuff ah, we've got a lizard enjoying the surface hello Come in. So there they go, there they are. Termite mounds. Quite beautiful really. This one's got sort of a, a red tinge to it and a more orangey brown. It's like they've um, come across two different soil types and um, that shows in the construction of the termite mound. <clears throat> Let's see it better as we go up closer, the two different tones. There's even three actually, there's a lot more of a mud, dark colour also. So there's three different types of earth that they've used in this one. <clears throat> uh, okay, we'll sign off.